Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video is a, a little different one for me. Um, it's my process video of um, doing the mini books and the mini bookcase. What a lot of people say to me because I, I show them how I do them, which okay, I will do. I'll show you how I do it. It's very simple, honestly. Um, they come from my port prints, and you actually literally print off everything you need. Um, but I'll show you how I put them together. But first of all, I want to say a huge, big, warm welcome to all my new subscribers. It's lovely to have you join us. Um, I've been off YouTube quite, a, not off YouTube, but not been on it as much as I would like to be on it. All through this pandemic, it really affected my mental health. But fingers crossed, we are getting there. We are getting there. So what I wanted you to show you, first of all, is the actual bookcase book. Um, and um, I will list um, a link my porch prints on Etsy um, down below so that you can go over it. This is where I bought them from. Um, absolutely lovely. Very easy to put together, as you will see. Um, but that's the back of the bookcase, and that is the actual book cover, if you like. And these are the shelves. As you see, it all, it all comes up printed on there what they are. Mini book secret cabinet box and the size of the shelves. And it's very easy. Even You even get the instructions how to put it all together when you uh, buy the download. So it can't be any simpler than that. That is it for the... the the bookcase, so to speak, little hidden secret bookcase as they call it. So I'm going to do that, put that together for you. But also, um, I'll show you a couple of the mini books that they do as well. My Porch Prince has got loads and loads of different books, mini books. I love these. They are a little bit fiddly. I do struggle a little bit with my hands with the arthritis and that. But I just try and do it as best I can. So this one is, um, I, I'm not sure which one this one is called, it doesn't say. Oh, I picked out two of them, I think this is Grandma's Attic, I think, I could be wrong. But these are the covers, you get four books per kit, if you like. Um, these are the little pages that you have inside. And you have like the two. two. I mean, you can print out more of these. You don't have to just have the two of them. And then you get the plain ones that you can have in that lined or plain. So, so that's one lot that I've done. And this one is another one. I think this one's called Lilacs Forever, I think. I can't remember, but... I'll give you the link to her Etsy store and you could go have a look. She's got, well, loads and loads of them, but they are gorgeous. So that's one there. And again, you get the page base, but they're just a little bit of difference in the colours and things like that. And that's very pretty. Do like them. Love doing these. But I hope you guys will give it a go because I think you'll enjoy it. I have prepared. <laughs> I've come prepared. Because otherwise you don't really want to sit there and watch me cutting things up and um, gluing things. So what I've done, I'm going to put the bookcase together first. That is going to be the first thing I do. So I've cut out and scored all the folds over. So I've got all that done. I've done the actual bookcase bit itself, scored them all over. I mean, it's all self-explanatory, you know, it doesn't take much to do it. But you have to remember, right, the first, when I first did this, my mistake, I don't want anybody else to do it, I actually did it, so this bit was on the outside, and it's not meant to be like that, this is meant to be on the inside. So, um, I'm making it more of a conscious effort to not do that this time, because uh, I was like, oh, what did I do wrong? But basically, you make up your little cubes like that. I burnish all the 
corners down. Once you've done that, you literally just glue. And all I use is tacky glue. I put a little bit on each side of the tabs, like that. Okay, um, I don't want to get my fingers in the way or anything. Just a little bit on there. Just to glue it down. You don't need a huge amount because these don't take a lot to glue them. Just there and there, that's all. I hope everyone's okay and that you're all crafting away. And I also glue down that little tab there. So you just push those up in together like that. Up together like that. And that one goes down like that. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And with the tacky glue, it, it does come together quite quickly, which I do like. So again, we just do exactly the same on the other end as well. Bit of tacky glue there. Hope you can see all right. As I say, you really don't need a huge amount on these, which is, uh, again, the things that you learn from. I, I learned the hard way when I was first starting to do this that putting too much glue on doesn't work. <laughs> so pop them together like that. Hold them down and then tuck your, your bit there. That's it. Go along, do your big flaps as well. Put a bit on those. Do that along there. And on the same side. But these are very simple to do and they're very effective and I don't see why to be honest you can't use this as a template and do it in your own cut you know whatever color you want you just use this as a template and do it uh, whatever colors you want and then all I do then is I get my burnishing tool wherever that is is in there nope what did I do with it oh, it's working with it last night as well Okay, well I use this one and all I do is literally just go along on the inside just to strengthen it, make sure all the excess glue has come out. And that's your base. That's your base then for the bookcase. Okay, so we just pop that one to one side, let it dry, and you literally go and do exactly the same with all the shelves. Glue them all together so that uh, by the time you've done everything, everything then should be dry. probably going to do this video in two parts because it's going to take quite long if I do this bookcase first and then I will do um, the little mini books next oh I did that wrong see chatting away didn't think about what I was doing I should have put this one I left it quickly while it's still wet that's one thing with tacky glue you do get a little bit of wiggle time as we say that's it So is anybody off on holiday this year or are you all staying at home? I'll be honest, I'm staying at home, not going anywhere. Um, I don't fancy travelling right now. So until we know kind of what's going on with this pandemic, I think we're all kind of stuck in limbo really, aren't we? That's it. And these are the little shelves. I'm hoping you can see me. I do apologise, guys. I'm not. 
Um, this is one of the reasons I don't do tutorials, that sort of thing, because when I'm crafting, I don't think about other people. I just do what I've got to do. But that's one of the little shells, and they literally fit in like that. Okay. And you just need to put all of them together. And then they'll all be stuck in the right place. Okay. So what I'm going to do is on that one there, a little bit on there, a little bit on there, a little bit on that one as well. Try and get it so I can do this a little bit quicker so you don't get bored watching me just gluing things together. Up, lift those up there, up into place like that, up into place like that. Push them in, push them in, in. Sorry. So there you are. There's another little shelf there. Once they're all in, then go round and do the top flaps. Put a bit of glue all across. Put him down, down, down. Down. Just pull him in a bit tighter. Mm. I mean, that's one thing with the tacky glue and that. You've got a little bit of wiggle room that you can, if you make mistakes, and I make mistakes. I do make mistakes. I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. We all make mistakes. So I just undo that, pull him in a bit tighter, push him back down there. There, like that. Okay. And then just go along with the burnish. Just make sure that they're all creased in. And that's another one done. And he just sits in there. Okay. So like I say, very easy. Tacky glue on each of your white tabs. Yeah, I thought of uh, using this as a template and cutting out in different colours to make different colour ones. You don't have to. I mean, obviously the book pages is different, but for the bookcase, you could actually do this quite easily, I think, in different colours. And then just push them all together. And the one thing with the tacky glue, it holds pretty quickly. But it does give you that bit of wiggle room as well. Like that there. And just go round the Okay. So if you buy this kit. As I say, you will get full instructions how to put it all together as well. But this is, I'm just showing you how I do it. It's not as daunting as it looks. When you look at it and you think, oh my God, how am I going to do that? But it, it really isn't. It's it's quite simple, really. Once, once you get the hang of it. And there you have your three shelves. All sat in there together. Then what you do is you have two side panels to cover the sides up and two, one for the top and one for the bottom. So what we do is the two side ones, you see you go like that on either side. Okay. So again, just a little bit of the taggy, bit of this down here because this one is going to be quite, it's going to be the support really. For the sides of it which I kind of like so we just go down there like that in like that and just hold them in place just for a second just till it holds Sorry guys. And that 
goes on there like that. Pushing in just to hold him in place. So that's the sides, and then we do exactly the same on the top with these top ones. Okay. Onto the top like that. that wrong see did it wrong that's got to go in there like that that has to go in there like that mm -hmm. yeah I did that wrong see see how silly you can make silly mistakes I wasn't paying attention there obviously <laughs> on this bit as well. Mm. Not quite sure what I did but I've done something not quite right but we don't make mistakes we just do happy little accidents. So I'm gonna push that in there and that one down there because I can't uh, top that down without it looking silly. I should have put I know what I, oh, I don't know what I did. I made a mistake there somewhere because obviously you don't want these tab bits showing, do you? But once it's in the cabinet, you won't see it anyway. <laughs> but okay, so that's basically your little bookcase made, and then we do the cover. But we need to put um, okay, it's all right. I'm going miles away ahead of myself here. This sheet goes inside like that. Okay, I'll make sure. No, nope, got around the wrong way. Don't want to do that. So what I'll do is I'll just tacky glue all the way round. I mean, you could do this on heavier cardstock. Um, but obviously, the heavier the cardstock, the harder it is to. Uh, Get it all to match in if you know what I mean. And but there we go. Well, that bit goes in here. Let's push him in. There we go. Push him in. Push him in. Come on. In you go. In you go. In you go. That's it. There we go. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take out these and then we do that bit goes in there like that. I think I may well have done this wrong. I know what I've done wrong now, I've done it. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. I've got to think because I had it in my head how I was going to do it, and yes, yeah, so that's got to go up there, and that's got to go around there, like that. So, how did I do that? Not very good, not very good, am I? Okay, let's see if I can salvage this before it goes crazy. Okay, I'm going to take this bit off, take this bit off. I don't think I can save the other bits. Let's see. Just show you we're not all perfect. So let's do that there. Right, okay. So I'm gonna glue this one down this way. I'm gonna do it quickly and show you. See, make mistakes. I'm not too clever at all of this bit, but I'm gonna glue that down there. And I'm going to glue that down there. 
And just to make sure this stays in place, I'm going to glue this down on the bottom as well. Just so I know what I'm doing, because I made a mistake. And I should have put this on first before I put the sides of it all on. But it does, I mean, it's not going to. So just to be on the safe side, put a little bit of glue around there, like that. him in there just like that those up there oh let's see and that one just there okay that's got to go in there like that okie dokie let's do it that way doesn't want to work the way i wanted to do it okay so if we stick him down like that he's going to be fine isn't he yeah yeah okay it's gonna work so you're going to see me making mistakes, doing it all, but I will cover up those mistakes and hopefully <laughs> you guys will not be too unimpressed sort of thing, if that makes sense. I don't teach me for not looking, thinking I'm so clever and I can do it. Teach me for not looking at the instructions properly, won't it? I had it in my head that I knew what I was doing. Obviously, I didn't know what I was doing because if I had it done, I wouldn't have just made the mistakes that I've made. But it's not a problem, honestly. It's not a problem. We've got there. We've got there. Okay. Let's tuck that down there. Up there. Up there. Up there. Oh, and that one there. Let's just... Let's burnish all these down just to get that nice straight line. And make sure the glue sticks. Okay. little cabinet there I mean you can go around and ink it all up and uh, take away that um, really harsh edge Which... And then really you need to just let this dry, put in your little shelves in so it dries in that shape and then just leave it, let it dry for a while before you put anything into it. But that's I hope it's okay. You can see. Yeah, I'm not. It's not. It's come up all right. It has come up all right. I made a mistake again. So, if I were you, I would follow the instructions. Don't do like I did. This is why I don't do tutorials because I'm not very good at it. I've done it my way. And I'm hoping you guys like it. So, that's, that's the bookcase itself. So you just put that like that. And you've got a hidden bookcase. It's a book within a book. It's books within a book, I should say. Okay, guys. So this is a mistakes and all video. 
told you I'm not very good at tutorials. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you in the next one when I'm doing the mini books. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Love to you all. Bye.